Now let's see what we are going to do under the utility analysis. Under the utility analysis, we are going to study some laws and some theories. Now these laws and theories have been bifurcated under two heads. The cardinal principle and the ordinal principle. Now what is the difference between cardinal principle and ordinal principle? Under cardinal principle, we quantify the utility. We tend to quantify the utility in terms of numbers that is 5, 10, 20, so on and so forth. Now, how do we number it? I mean, when we eat, when we have a chocolate, can we say that we got, that we derived a utility of 5, or 10 or 100 because there is no unit for measuring utility but under cardinal principle it is our assumption that we can quantify utility so we tend to quantify it in terms of some number and that number can be anything but it does not have any units so on and so forth However, under the cardinal principle, however, under the ordinal principle, we do not quantify the utility. We do not quantify utility. We only rank or give an order to the utility or utility derived from the commodities. For example, if I give you an option of having a chocolate, an ice cream or a sweet, you might rank them in the order of your preference. Some might say they would like to have the chocolate first because they like the chocolate more. Others might go for ice cream and then rank the others in their order of preference so when you rank the commodities in the order of your print in the order of your preference based on the utility derived from them we can say that you are under the ordinal principle of utility analysis so in this So in this, we rank commodities on the basis of preference of the consumer. Now under cardinal principle, we study the law of diminishing marginal utility and the law of equi-marginal utility. However, under the ordinal principle, we will be doing the indifference curve analysis.